I told a girlfriend yesterday because I sent my first voice memo of the year, which is like my favorite way to communicate on Instagram. Um, when I have something that I want to share that's more long winded and, um, that I want people to hear my heart. I want them to hear the excitement or I want them to hear the sadness or I want them to hear the concern. And so I sent one and the reason I had a little bit of trepidation connected to it was I was like, Oh man, I got to rest so much this past break and to see what God did through that inside of me was just like this. uh, I felt like, um, I don't, there's a, uh, there's a Marvel character that I think he's evil. Actually, he's got like all the tentacles. I felt like I was just like unplugging, unplugging, unplugging the tentacles that I had established out into the world. And God is like, no, 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 come back. Come back and realize that none of those identify you. Come back and recognize that anything that you've plugged into in the past that is not of God, for God, by God, is not safe and therefore not good and therefore not God. If you have followed Pedal and Preach at all in the past, I'm going to be coming back live. I think today is Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah. I'll be coming back actually on Wednesdays at six o'clock, but I wanted to be here for the fast on day two because I wasn't sure what my energy level was going to be tomorrow. And I knew I could get through this today. And so I wanted to just amp us up, get us excited about the week and know that he is sovereign in this. I don't prepare. (laughs) So you might be like, whoa, where's she going right? Where's she going left? This is my heart. (laughs) This is who I am. This is us having coffee together though. No, it's not. We're not having coffee. No coffee on the fast. Let's go water. This is us moving. This is us living life together. This is us having conversations on the spot about what is God doing in your life right now. And I want you to be active in it. I love all the people who are already dropping comments. If you're watching this on replay, drop the replay, share it out with your friends, invite people to join in on what this is. So if you've never done a fast, The intention can be a multitude of things. Scripturally, people fasted when they were mourning. They fasted when they were weeping. They were fasting when they were looking for a move of God. They were fasting to get answers from God. They were fasting, oh my goodness, um, for a people group, for a large people group. And I don't know about you, but if any of those don't ring stronger, that one for me is where I feel most positioned in this particular season. And... It's an interesting shift for me, I'll be honest, because I've been walking with the Lord intimately for about seven and a half years now, and I've been a Christian since I was about 14, but in the past, I felt like I was walking with God, just Him and I, and like, there's nothing wrong with that. You want that intimacy with the Lord, it's it's wildly important. We hear that with Um, I'm in Genesis right now for the Bible recap, obviously. This is going to be the chronological version of the Bible versus what I did last year. Um, And we know that Adam and Eve walked with him in the cool of the day. We know that Noah was really intimate with the Lord. We know that Cain and Abel got to talk to him. Um, there's, There's a lot of conversation individually. But right now, because of the state of the world, God is just calling me to to pray on behalf of my brothers and sisters, to pray on behalf of the church. And even though I'm a part of that body, it's a very, a little bit confusing um, act. And I'll say that because I want to be transparent with you. I do things all the time because God said to, and not because I have an actual plan, not because I know what that fruit is going to actually bear, not because I know what he wants out of me or what he wants out of it. All I know is he's good. All I know is he's sovereign. All I know is he's merciful. All I know is when I abide in him, amazing fruit is going to come out of it. And so this is kind of a part of that. Okay, God, I'll do a corporate fast. I'll invite other people. Okay, God, I'll start on this new journey of really looking from a, a global perspective rather than an internal perspective. I've done so much internal healing and that all of us need to. This is the, the line of always becoming, always becoming. But knowing that if at large we can open our eyes to what's happening in the spiritual realm and what's happening in the church body of Christian culture as a whole, 
not secular culture, not of the world, but as the whole entity, man, I think we're going to be able to shift the nation and the nations faster than you think, because we're not going to be so self-absorbed, so self-reflective, and we're going to be externally focused on how can I shift? How can I change? How can I unplug? How can I reestablish? How can I speak life? How can I engage this body of people? How can I turn them into you, God? I think about Moses and when he came off Mount Sinai from receiving the Ten Commandments and he had that air of radiance. I've talked about this here before when I was just in awe of the fact that he had to veil his face. What if we, as a people group, were so stand out that people couldn't fully even look to us. They couldn't even fully look to us, not because we want to be set apart in a bad, egotistical, prideful manner, but because we're established in Christ, because we're under his wing, because we are the city on the hill, because we are the light of the world. I guess the question is, are we acting like it? Are we truly acting like it?